All right, everyone. Oh, it is me, Judson Chan. I guess I should have uh, stretched a little bit. Actually, I shouldn't do that. I should go like this before yawning. Yeah. But because uh, I trained myself to use this whenever I want to scratch myself, but I, I didn't anticipate yawning like that because eh, an okay night's sleep. But I still over ate a little bit. But I think I lifted weights yesterday too. Oh, I forgot to bring in the weights here. Um, so actually, you know, let me just do that now because I know I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna get lazy and then that oh, shit happens. So if you want to see, uh, can you see it? Yeah, it's like this really heavy, uh, you know, big bar thing. Yeah. So I don't know. I think this thing is like 60, 70, 25 pounds. I kind of forgot. Uh, I haven't added more um, weight to it in a while, so I mean, I'm already bulking up pretty well, you know, in terms of muscle, so it's probably good enough. Anyway, uh, what was I say? Yeah, so I ate a little bit too much, but I still think I lost a couple hundred calories. Um, you know, yeah, I, I definitely have to, like, uh, change, like, I can have ice cream or I can have my potato chips, but I cannot have both. That's actually adding, like, a lot of calories. So, you know, since I want to, uh, you know, obviously lose weight, you know, because I think what's happening is I've lost so much weight so quickly, given how long I've been overweight. Like, I think my body's starting to react to that. Um, because I know about if you lose weight too fast, you regain it pretty quickly. Uh, I never actually did the research online about why that happens, but I think it's because your body's just not used to that kind of weight. So that's why I'm having a lot of trouble, right? My body is just like, my body probably just thinks, we're about to die from starvation. You better eat all this food. And it's like, oh, God, come on. Don't you know there's still, don't you know there's all this, you know, visceral fat in, you know, in my stomach? So, yeah. Also, I am eating more sugar and carbs, so that's also kind of like messing things up, too. So, you know, so I, I got to like, you know, try to moderate things uh, yet again. So anyway, uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, and then I finally finished pretty much all the programming stuff. Uh, and I think for now, I just might just take a break from watching the tutorial about how to build a city building game. Because honestly, I'm probably just going to buy the, what is it called? Um... Asset City Building Unity. Yeah, that's it. This thing, all right. Uh, and then they listed their website here. Uh, new version real right now, Jerry, that will not require NGUI or 2D 2K feature kind of level of the upgrades. We have not uploaded the new version of Unity quite yet. We're working on our website, Dr. Developers. It could be for a free upgrade to the blah, blah, blah. Uh, where, where is the thing? Yeah, the reason why I like this is because this literally, like, if I actually, first of all, if I had to figure out how to code all this shit, yeah, I, I might as well, yeah, yeah. For 390 bucks, this is literally worth, like, it's, not only, I mean, I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that it costs this much, but this is really what I'm buying. 2053 hours of work plus they continually upgrade it so if there's a problem with this specific part of my game i could just simply pay these guys to like figure out what the hell is wrong uh now the thing is i don't want them accessing my source code right because obviously it's gonna be attached to the rest of my game so i don't want them to get access to the rest of the game so you know i could probably just pay them money and just give have them give me priority support and then just send back and forth the code that's specific to this module so that it can like help me try to troubleshoot bugs <clears throat> god they had a website i'm trying to find where is it um oh visit site there we go city building kit for unity uh okay that's interesting they sent it to a different uh, url so i'm just gonna get this thing uh, basically, my game is going to have exactly the same thing. I, you might have to change some of the other functions. So, I mean, this is essentially a completely separate game, right? But combining all these separate games into the one even bigger game. And then, what, and then ultimately what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to design it so that, like, the way the game will work, or free to play, yeah. Oh, that's a new thing. Actually, I should turn off Adblock so you guys can see how this is working. Shields up for this site, turn it off. There we go. Actually, can you see this? When I do this? Oh, you can't. All right, so you can see that there's a Google AdSense ad here. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna get so angry if this thing literally said, "Here's your, uh, here's your zip code, here's your uh, neighborhood, here's your address. Would you, well, would you like to, would you like to buy this thing at this local deli?" And then I get like really tilted. Good. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, here's the ad here, and here's another ad down here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is, oh, is this a? That's interesting. He uses an animated ad. Oh, actually, it's been a while since I used Google AdSense. So basically what I'm going to do is I'll have, like, I guess my Google ad over here. And then I'm going to have my A ads ad over here. So this will be the cryptocurrency ad. So I'll get, like, you know, guaranteed income from just the page impressions, which would be insane. You know, uh, and then the way I'll design my game, it, oh, wow, this thing goes across. Okay, wow, okay. So basically you can see how this site is monetized even though it's free, right? And, okay, it is. <laughs> Why don't I do that? So and then basically when you're clicking around, it'll refresh the page and then, you know, it's constantly refreshing the ads and then you can get the idea and then we'll just make, you know, a lot of money. So instead of being like a fake news terrorist, like pretty much all those uh, news outlets out there where they write clickbait to get you angry and then you click and click and uh, and uh, refresh the page. This is a lot more wholesome because you're just playing a game and you're just clicking around naturally because obviously you want to do stuff. And then of course, when you're actually playing the real game, you know, there won't be any ads. It'll just be a full screen like, you know, when I do like this, right? See, there are no ads here. And then when I die, I go back to uh, whatever. Um, quick game, right? And then see, it refreshes the page. So, you know, you can see how you just make like shit tons of money doing this. But of course, the product in this case, the game must be pretty good. So uh, it's uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, we'll turn that back on. Um, so yeah, so I'll just get this. Obviously, we got to replace all the graphics, all the whatever. But the basic mechanics are all there. So um, you know, and then I just replace these uh, icons. And obviously, I'm gonna be using. Actually, I'll definitely be using these uh, troopers and this sci-fi stuff. Uh, these things will actually still be used because my thing is science fiction and fantasy, so I can use all these assets. And then, of course, these archers will be like elven archers. Because I don't know, for some reason, whenever you think of elves, you always think of swords and elves and archers and shit, right? <laughs> um, <clears throat> also, it does have built in AI, too, so, uh, so I don't have to worry about the auto. So, this is going to be pretty good because <laughs> I was about to scratch my nose. It might have been too late because it was already so close. Um, uh, I'm not in fact, I'm actually healthy as far as I know right now. And I went, I went somewhere yesterday. Oh yeah. I picked up, um, you know, hand sanitizer, hydrogen peroxide, everything's sold out. Like the shelves are literally empty for like all the cleaning product stuff. So, uh, yeah, but 390 bucks for this. Yeah. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. So, uh, it's gonna be good. You know, uh, now I'm trying to decide how do I want to design the game, right? From a technical perspective, do I want to code it in uh, Unity and Playmaker and just single player it first and then slowly add a, slowly translate it into a multiplayer function, right? Because I have, because, because basically what I have to do now is go on Azure Playfab and write all the server logic on the Playfab server. So all the items are generated on the server and then it'll, uh, so it's like, it, it starts getting a little complicated, but the cool part is I'm actually starting to understand uh, what's going on. So I can craft a solution. The other way would be to, from the get go, just code it with Playfab right there, direct. Oh, oh. Mm, got a burp, but the thing is, um, that's going to be a lot slower, and it's going to be a lot more difficult because I'm obviously going to run into bugs. Going to get a little frustrated. Well, I'm not going to get frustrated, but it's like I'm, it's like okay, this is not working. Why? And I kind of want to just make the whole game, or at least a skeleton of it, and then just. But there, there's a disadvantage of to that too. It's like it's going to constantly mess things up. And then the other thing is, when I'm converting everything to the server, all the client side code has to be deleted. So it's like, eh, I kind of feel like I waste my time doing that. It's like, it, 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 it gets, I don't know. I, I have to, I have to try to figure it out. And then, uh, I don't know, uh, just wait. I'm waiting for God to just hand me the answer. So uh, I, I guess he's trying to make a determination right now, <clears throat> but we'll see. We'll see. 
But anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is at 13. So that's a little surprise. It's actually going uh, up this week. Um, probably because people are like, well, uh, markers are tanking. We need something stable, right? So now they're checking out cryptocurrency. All right, so Bitcoin does at 64.4%. Uh, 24 hour volume is very low at 126 billion. So people aren't even that interested uh, right now. At least the rich aren't. And uh, as we'll soon see, I was actually quite right because uh, I had a little bit of doubt yesterday when I was doing the video, but I don't even think I mentioned it. But uh, yeah, I was thinking, you know, maybe this could turn around, but I don't know. This doesn't look right. It's like it could be a dead cat bounce. Let's just wait and see. Um, and now I'm glad because as we'll soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, ultimately, coronavirus is a real big problem. Trump is just completely uh, screwing it up. Like he literally thinks he could print his money. He can print money. He thinks he could print money out of the problem, all right? The problem is not the fucking money. The problem is we're all going to fucking die from coronavirus. That is the fear, all right? And we, we, no one is getting tested in America. The entire world can get tested, but not here in America. So the problem is everyone knows they're going to get infected with coronavirus. And there are already endless tweets on Twitter about how, um, whatchamacallit, like, this is what it takes to get tested for coronavirus. And it's like these hoops and hoops and hoops. It's like, what's it's like what's the point, right? That's why they're deliberately letting us all get infected and the markets are reflecting that. And then dumbass Trump, right? You know, he, he he's like, the stock market's the most important thing. It, 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 it's, just, it's just insane. It's just insane to me. Uh, it's going to be a miracle if the Republicans actually, you know, win more seats this year. Because this... Because this black swan event is actually turning into like a game changing uh, problem. So, you know, it's in fact, uh, let me see. Uh, predict it. Uh, wow, Bernie. <laughs> Even Hillary Clinton's. <laughs> wow, poor Bernie. But he, he's, uh, he, he, he gets what he deserves because he's a, he's a cuck. He's a cuck. Presidential election. Uh, let's see. So he's still hovering at 50 50 right now. Um, yeah, but if people actually start dying in mass, or even just everyone starts getting infected with coronavirus in mass, and people find out it is coronavirus, yeah, that's going to hurt Trump, right? It, like, it's like, I have coronavirus, please save me. Would you like the stock market to go up? <laughs> that's literally what Trump's response is. That it's just it's just so bad. It's, it just goes to show why you don't ever want to put money above God because you know Trump still has not figured that out yet, and it's it, it's just I don't know what what, what we're gonna do. Uh, but with that being said, you know uh, God's merciful, so I'm pretty sure we'll be basically just fine. But in the meantime, you know I am kind of a little concerned that Trump is just not taking it seriously. So. Uh, because again, as much as I don't like what how Trump is behaving, I still need him reelected this year. Otherwise, we're gonna have a lot of problems, right? You know, and it's gonna get to the point where I would be forced essentially to change the storyline of my game, right? You know, you can't have a Christian hero anymore, and I'm not gonna blaspheme it by you know promoting uh, homosexuality, transsexuality, uh, pedo bear, and all that stuff. So you know, it's like you know, what am I gonna do? So yeah. Anyway, Bitcoin's at 7832. It's down 2.19%. Of course, this day is just basically flatlining. Uh, Litecoin's at 48 bucks, also flatlining. I'm not sure why the, this thing is so in so much red. It, it's just flatlining, so I, I don't know. But things are very volatile, so. Doggy coin, 268.7 million market cap. Actually, let me uh, hit this button over here. Get my stupid. I mean, I kind of want to quit Bit Heroes because now they've nerfed the loot drops. But I mean, I already spent like a total of like, what, 700 bucks in this game uh, over like the year. I have been playing this game, that game for like 14 months. I haven't spent any money on it in a long time though because I've gotten everything that I need. Uh, but, you know, but, and of course, you know, I'm trying to save money. So, you know, uh, very, very, uh, I haven't done any frivolous spending in like several months. Um, but, uh, yeah, I still have to pay my taxes too. Today is March 11th. So, ugh. Don't go in. Uh, I already mentioned that. Steam is, 
Where is oh yeah, I passed it. Because Steam's been skyrocketing quite well. Yeah, it's actually at position sixty two. So Steam's the only coin that's actually doing pretty well. Twenty one point seventy cents. It's actually up three point seventy two percent. So oh yeah, I, I guess I just won't be buying any Steam. I'm just gonna have to wait this uh, market out. Um all right, so uh still no options for this. All right, so stocks plunge in another volatile session. Each of the three major indices was off more than 2%. So NASDAQ is down 325%. Dow is also down 3.78%. And S&P is down 3.44%. So Forsen also said in his stream yesterday that he's also uh, going to buy, but he's waiting for the dip. He doesn't think the dip's, uh, the bottom's in yet. Yeah, so all of us rich, successful, hardworking people, uh, specifically, you know, we've seen it all. Yeah, we, we're all doing the same thing. We're basically biding our time. And uh, yeah, we're waiting for the fall. Uh, so it's going to get a lot worse. Uh, Trump's response has just been asinine and retarded. There's no other way to, because I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? You know, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a blind Trump bot, right? You know, if Trump's going to mess up, you know, he, you know, well, that's what the truth says. Uh, well, we would really Trump did not suspend trial from China and parts of Italy and South Korea. Okay. Um, let's see. Gavin Newsom actually uh, is praising Trump and the coronavirus thing. Yeah, like you know, when someone that that hates you suddenly they're they're the target. Suddenly they'll actually see the light. Um, our whole America coronavirus. Okay, so I did read on Twitter that Trump's response is getting better. So this does help because now he's actually not talking about the dumbass stock market. He's actually focusing a lot on the coronavirus. That's what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. And of course, you got your standard re-election shit, so we don't really care. Um, okay, Ron McDaniel. Uh, I don't know who this guy is uh so okay so here's their response to coronavirus meeting with insurance companies so that's actually pretty good because this is actually addressing the problem of uh it costs five thousand dollars according to rouge v to get tested for coronavirus why do you have to pay five grand why isn't it free like there, like there's a reason why people are getting angry uh because at least here in new york state you know uh, mayor cuomo uh, our our mayor is uh, Mayor. Our governor is Andrew Cuomo or Mayor? No, Andrew Cuomo. I always confuse him with Mario Cuomo because that's his father. Andrew Cuomo. I'm pretty sure his. Got to get the tissue. Yeah, uh, Andrew Cuomo. Um, office since 2011. So, yeah, he basically said uh, waive all the costs and he's being aggressive about the money problem. So, that's that's good. So, all right, so Trump must have finally figured out, oh, yeah, I'm actually going down a lot because all these assholes are getting angry about coronavirus. Uh, Vanity Fair will be out of business. Making up, uh, our team is doing great on yeah, coronavirus, so that's standard Trump puff. Um, police report Trump's request on the shirt that the White House today agreed to waive all co pays on coronavirus testing, extend coverage. Uh, so, this is actually really important. But today, Mr. President, uh, you directed us to bring together um, insurance companies, health insurance companies that cover uh, through private insurance and through their support of Medicare and Medicaid, uh, almost 240 million Americans. And I'm pleased to report, uh, as you requested, Mr. President, that all the insurance companies here, either today or before today, have agreed to waive all co-pays on coronavirus testing uh, and extend coverage for coronavirus treatment. Uh, in all of their benefit plans. But today, Mr. President, uh, you directed us. Good. So, all right. So now Trump's chances of winning re-election should be a lot higher because he was seriously throwing the election. Um, because 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 if you haven't noticed, there's not really anything about the stupid stock market here. Because Trump tried that, and look at the result. <laughs> Nobody gave a shit. But the good news is he's now addressing the coronavirus problem, so he knows that there's nothing he can do about market volatility. So, because again, everyone's afraid of dying from coronavirus, which is a valid fear. So that's what's being priced in. Um, 
In fact, let's see, uh, coronavirus. We're gonna actually make this the uh, thumbnail because this is actually the most important part, not just because he's actually addressing the actual coronavirus testing cost problem, but it's also showing that Trump now is finally taking coronavirus seriously because as you saw before I looked at his Twitter, I was getting pretty tilted at Trump, right? Uh, coronavirus. Uh, let's just see, what do we got? Uh, two thirds of Germans could become infected, but no one's. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, we already talked about Germany, but yeah, Germany is just tight. They have that shit on lockdown. So, fingerprint security protocol halted at NYPD headquarters. Oh, that's hilarious. Actually, yeah, that actually would make that's actually really smart. And this is new. Uh, one New York police plaza. If I ever need a fake address, I'll probably just use this one. Right. So I like to see. I like to see what happens when people when uh, pranksters try to spam an actual police station i stole this idea from uh crip the hearthstone streamer on twitch he said like how does he how does he uh save himself uh prank calls and security he said i use a fake address and i usually use a uh, police station <laughs> so uh and he said it dropped significantly right after he did that yeah i wonder why um Let's see. We should be shutting. Uh, it's going to be tough because it, there's a lot of economic damage. There's simply a lot of people here in New York, uh, in the United States, especially in cities. But yeah, we do need to be locking down and quarantining more areas, right? In New York City, we've we've we created a quarantine zone in New Rochelle. But the problem is not even really a quarantine zone. It's just a circle. Uh, they're shutting, they are shutting down schools and large and any really gatherings, but people are free to go, leave and go as they please. So it's not like a militant version, uh, you know, but Italy, you know, is going hardcore. They're just arresting people. If you violate the curfew, uh, 31 death toll, Seattle may ban events. First of all, why is it say may, why hasn't Seattle already banned events? And they wonder why there's so many people die. It's like, these people are like retarded. Uh, oh, I mentioned this uh, circle of influence, right? Uh, coronavirus, biggest daily rise as UK cases reach 456. Uh, oh yeah, and that's the new Rochelle quarantine zone. Can a face mask stop coronavirus? The answer is actually no, unless it's an N95 mask. Uh, coronavirus, like what these guys are actually wearing, these are the hardcore masks. That'll stop it. But the regular face masks that everyone's using, that only kind of slows it and prevents you from touching your face. Because um, you'll touch your face, but the mask is preventing the coronavirus on your hands from, you know, getting breathed in. Uh, Cuomo questions testing rates in the U.S. as cases top, blah, blah, blah. This is actually a pretty good slam dunk for the Democrats, too. Um, like, because uh, they don't want to overly politicize it because then they'll just look like evil people. Because people are genuinely terrified of dying from this. So you don't want to be too crazy about it because then you'll just look like an asshole and you know right now it's like you're playing politics with my life i could die what is wrong with you you're like you're not actually serious about coronavirus so that's why they have to be kind of gentle about it but at the same time they can hurt trump by just complaining about yeah why aren't we testing anybody it's actually a problem and then of course now trump's starting to finally figure that out for some reason he's not talking shit about the cdc because the cdc has really dropped the ball so yeah but anyway i focus a lot on the coronavirus because that's the reason why we're in this situation all the other news stories doesn't really matter so uh jmc coin doing very well five to six in fact it looks like it's torpedoing it up to six to seven so that's pretty nice because again everything's just going down so people need a safe haven 404 coins five to six it went as high as seven apparently last night so uh my sell order did get fulfilled in six so now i'm going to rejoin this queue right it's the queue for alterac valley and uh yeah you know uh but i guess if you're really willing in a way you could try for seven all right because i don't think this i don't think the market uh dying is anywhere near done uh i think it's just going to continue to get worse um my instincts are basically telling me we're just going to wait this out um let's see yeah, if it turns out, I mean, I still don't know. Am I going to buy Litecoin when it's like 30 bucks? You know, that would be good. Or do I want to buy stocks? It's actually a tough decision. I, I don't know. I, I haven't made a commitment yet. I just know that I have to get ready to buy. So uh, we'll see. Uh, two by two coin is at 60 to 65. So it's going down a bit. Um, 
it's been pretty stable for a while, but uh, you know, it's you know, the inflation is starting to you know get higher up there. Uh, compound coin is basically five thousand twenty satoshi of a dog coin, up to I guess a little under seven thousand, but it's really just mostly sales of uh, people selling. Actually, there's two fifth. There's actually a lot of activity here. Uh, it was actually dumps. Yeah, someone dumped a lot. So all right, but I mean, you know, it's just how it goes. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, nobody I think yet. So, all right, let's see. Bitcoin. All right, so let's just browse real quick. Uh, don't care. Don't care. Uh, say any show. Okay, it's not gold. Uh, de -de -de -de. uh, remains resilient. Oh, yeah. So, I forgot to mention this other thing. So, everything's dying in the markets, but not really cryptocurrency. Uh, it's actually just flatlining. So it's actually doing pretty well. That's why I might consider buying stocks instead. But I don't know. Even if even at forty eight dollars, you know, that's pretty cheap for Litecoin. Um, let's see. So nothing. Google. Uh, crypto share just says the safe here. Yes, it's not sure. No, uh, I don't care. Uh, platform party way with digital finance. Technically, this is good, but I'm not touching anything that the big banks are doing because obviously they're centralized, censorship happy pricks. Uh, we don't care about that. Analysis issues alert and bizarre Bitcoin. Okay, we don't care. Fast company named Drupal works one of those innovative companies of 2020. Blah blah blah. Funny enough, I know once I might get my game companies up and running, you know, I can probably get a nice little article here. Uh, but I mean, at that point, I'm probably not going to care because I'm going to have free. I'm going to have infinite free marketing anyway. So. Bitcoin supporter raises red flag or proposed US law taking aim at cryptocurrency. Uh, well, I can't say certain things without getting banned, so I'm just going to say this article already looks suspicious. I can't tell you why, though. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Bitcoin for CDNitizer, okay. That's technically true, uh, but the thing is, Ghostar knows this, so he's totally pro privacy, so. I'm already starting to get the alarm bells going off, right? Uh, as Rouge V would say, uh, the aliens are starting to take a more hostile stance towards uh, cryptocurrency. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Because I, I obviously don't know what's inside this act. Uh, Coin Bill will regulate the entire industry, CFTC, FinCEN, and SEC. Well, yeah, they have to. All right? We don't want them to regulate it, but if they don't regulate it, then, it's, then we'll have no regulation. So, I mean, it's kind of like... Um, I think we're, we're forced to do it. Daryl aren't designed to regular currencies. The CFTC, and not trying to find themselves and FinCEN, which regulates finance, not currencies or assets. Okay, this is the most important thing. According to a report by Bloomberg, two of the three regulators listed on the bill are not designed to regulate crypto. Uh, CFTC, uh, and this is the most important one, FinCEN, and not the trading of commodities themselves. FinCEN, which regulates financial institutions, not currencies or assets. The bill is superficially neat category of crypto uh, caused the move of regulatory overreach. If you buy a crypto at a regular exchange, do you want that company to go your any name by what you want to do without a warrant, without any proper cause? Um, I don't know. I kind of, let me think. Like my stock market account is obviously heavily regulated. I assume they always transmitted that data. Cryptos are finally designed to be a force censorship within mind that people can send peer to peer. It is all very glad that we will be able to use it as a global safety against authoritarian governments. All right. Uh, well, it may, he brings up good points. Um, I don't know. Uh, a little, it's still a little suspicious, so, you know, about it. But I mean, he didn't really seem to attack Gosar, so at least that's good. Now, I tell you, like, Gosar was already pretty smart. He specifically said FinCEN is not going to regulate this. This is the one that we care about because these are the guys that actually send in the SWAT teams to like arrest you and shit for money laundering. Uh, and these are the assholes at FinCEN that literally do want all your data. They were like, "How much did you buy? Did you buy it?" And we want all that data right now. Right, so every time you make a transaction on these exchanges, it immediately sends it to the U.S. government. Uh, that is not what we want. That's literally the whole point of using cryptocurrency is to avoid this bullshit. And according to this draft of the bill, it doesn't do that. It doesn't let them do that. So, 
Yeah. Yeah, so I think we'll be pretty good. And of course, paranoia, like, assuming he's not, got, he doesn't have any ill intentions, paranoia like this is very good for us. Because the more we re push back, the more the government's just going to be like, okay, we have regulations, but we're not actually going to do anything. That's like the best regulation. It's basically like New York City. We have a bunch of laws, but nobody enforces it, including the cops. <laughs> so, so, so everyone's happy, right? Jaywalking is like the most classic example. It's illegal to jaywalk, but nobody gives a shit. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, d -d 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 -d. so I don't like this thumbnail, so we'll use this. But we're pretty good. Uh, I'm glad that Trump finally figured out to uh, do the right thing, and now he's taking coronavirus seriously because. I would have really flipped my uh, shit if I came on here and this morning all I saw was we're going to make a lot of money, here's the economic stimulus, blah, 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 and he doesn't even really say much about coronavirus. It's like, <laughs> wow. But I'm glad that Trump has, you know, uh, listened to God and is like, you know what, I better do something about coronavirus. So, anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTubes at youtube.com. I'm just going to skip that. Uh, forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can grow this channel. All right, I'm done for the day. I've been on on for 31 and a half minutes. That's actually pretty short given the circumstances. And uh, we covered a lot of ground. So, uh, very good, very good. Uh, so I'll just sign off and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, join us today or night. I will see you all tomorrow's video and, uh, yeah, enjoy the bear market. Well, I should call it a really a correction because people want a bull market, but right now this coronavirus is pretty much ruining everything, which is good for us, right? Cause time to buy cheap. Uh, I guess you could do a short term short play, but I I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not a gambler, so not anymore. So, uh, I, j I just want to take, I just want to do the safe thing. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks. JMC, or Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. It'll be pretty nice one day to eventually have my game up here, and I'll just say go play that game. And uh, right now, crypto is pretty steady. It'll probably continue going down a little bit because if everything else goes down, because everyone's just scared, obviously. Uh, I'm waiting for the markets to just basically tank. Um, I don't know what I'll buy in, but... I think I should start. I should probably make my decision probably by tonight, and then uh, and then tomorrow when I wake up. In fact, maybe before the training day is over, I might. Uh, hmm. Excuse me. Make my decision. I could also just decide to put in like a thousand in the stock market account, a thousand in my fiat to crypto exchange, and then just simply wait. So as soon as I make the decision, I'll just log into my accounts and instantly start buying. I think that's probably the more uh, intelligent way to do it, actually. But man, that means I'm out two thousand dollars in cold hard cash. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, right now I'm waiting. Uh, I want to buy, but uh, I don't think the bomb's in yet. Like it's gonna get a lot worse. Uh, but there's definitely relief because Trump again has figured out. Okay, I better deal with coronavirus and then let God's will be done. Uh, Harvey Weinstein, I don't know. Oh, 23 years in prison. Ouch. Well, that's uh, that's what's going to happen. And I guess before we stop, uh, let's take a look. Yeah, he's pushing his thing over here. Hoaxed. Good movie. Uh, Jeff said I was brought down the Trump presidency. Session recused Trump, rather AG. It's a lot of raw, rather than popularity. So Trump endorsed Tuberville. You would too. Yeah, it's hard because I really want Jeff Sessions, but when it comes to actual politics of getting things done, Jeff is literally like, he, I mean, he really is the quintessential conservative. I hate to say this, but it's the truth, right? When you're, I'm not saying he's an evil, bad guy, but what's the problem with being conservative? You're not open to new ideas. You're just naturally closed-minded. You know, Jordan Peterson was nice. He just said we're closed. I'm going to just go out and say we're rigid and we're closed minded because that's just how we are. Right. You know, it's not sometimes some people get some conservatives get angry and then they do it. Or in others, they just don't know any better. That's really the more case. So you got to be more open minded because this is exactly what happens. And because when Trump 
was like, oh, God, Jeff, what are we going to do about this Mueller stuff? And Jeff, literally, Jeff's response literally was, oh, I don't know. I guess you got to let it go. So Trump is really angry about it. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to get an open borders asshole uh, in Tommy Tuberville. Uh, I still want to ask her out and do it. You know, she's, yeah, yeah. I, I just, obviously, she's definitely my type, and she was an actress, so she's, like, very similar to me in that way. Uh, plus, she's also pretty well-grounded as a Catholic, so I know she's not, like, you know, like a crazy, like, degenerate, right? Very chilly, man, very chill, they all get a hand on the credit, go to the South Korea as a democracy, and manage to do the same. Is there something else about South Korea that makes it good or something to crisis? Cohesion? So I was really do bending uh, there, the DDD, uh, sure. Uh, well, I mean, South Korea has also shut down a lot of stuff, right? And they're testing everybody too, just like China is. Uh, so there's a little bit of authoritarianism, right? In fact, I think there were a bunch of conservatives in South Korea protesting the Democrat president of South Korea because they were like, we are not going to, we're not going to hear, we're not going to be stuck in our homes under quarantine. So it does, yeah. So it's uh, so that's, it is a Seattle whole song and in fact, I tell you, which was a huge thing. Uh, Shirley's in our area, they piece together a timeline built event, did Paul Rivera, but we couldn't tell her. Thanks for it. Yes, I mean, Raheem Kassam is actually an asshole. Apparently, he doesn't like Nick Fuentes at all, so that makes him my enemy. Um, yeah, I'm looking for more coronavirus stuff. Maybe we can move for fully on me. Uh, yeah, I can't believe they're still doing this. Yeah, the TSA needs to be disbanded, to be honest. I, I've never liked them. Uh, yeah, we'll fix it. A lot of us respond to the Americans. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I forgot, I forgot what the original purpose was, but I don't see uh, Mike Sermich really tweeting specifically what I'm looking for. So. All right, either way, things should be getting better uh, overall. However, uh, in the short term, especially this week at least, um, I don't know, I have to make a decision, but I am already still leaning towards everyone's just going to be panicking. Uh, but this is new information. I have to figure out what I'm going to do. So you can choose to buy today or you can choose to wait like I'm doing and then buy and then take the gamble that tomorrow and later this week, the markets will still continue to tumble. Um, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm, but the fact that I'm already thinking about funding my accounts with cash to get ready to buy, that probably means it's almost time to get ready to buy. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I know one thing's for sure. I'm not expecting anything to go up just yet. 